Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Leo. Now you can have Leo anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Leo, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Come on, please. This boost is watching. So you may have somebody just watching, watching you. Because he was sitting here for a while, just watching, waiting, waiting for a signal. So maybe you have somebody that's waiting for a signal, waiting to see if you're doing okay, waiting to see if you have forgotten what the bullshit they might have had done to you. Or they just waiting to see how your energy has changed. They may be in the background. For a lot of you guys, they have a clear view. And I'm, I'm seeing somebody like, holy shit, a clear view of how abundant your fucking life is going to be. This may be somebody that is shady, that was shady in the past. No string attached, or maybe they didn't want something, you know, to be connected with you. Maybe they kept you a secret. Leo, how could they fucking keep a Leo a secret? You know what I'm saying? Maybe this, this is a side hustle, you know. This is a side piece with the romance right there. Maybe something might have happened right there, but there's going to be this shocking moment. Now, for some of you guys, this message is coming to you from somebody that might have passed on. So I'm getting that energy a little bit, but we're going to do something different. If that energy is in here, fine. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that took advantage of you while you had a certain death. For whatever reason, I'm hearing it's about to be the other way around. If you lost a parent and they kicked you when you was down, sorry to say, but with all due condolence, I'm hearing they're about to be in the same position, except you're nowhere going to be found. Other people are going to kick them when they're down. They're going to take advantage and they're going to wish that you was on their side is what I'm hearing. So let's get into your reading. I got these new cards. And I'm being asked to start it off, I guess, with this. Now, Leo, we're going to get one for your past. This one. And this one says, yes. Now, it says right here, the fool. It says, just have fun for now and not to get tied down. So for a lot of you guys, this is what you're dealing with in the past. The universe put somebody in your path and your lying instincts or your lioness instincts kicked in. And in the present right now, it says yes. So you have two yes. And this is the strength. This is your card. Now, I'm getting a lot of Leo, and it's not, it's not a sun sign, maybe sun sign, but for a lot of you guys, with it being as marriage, it's more in the Venus. So if you have Venus and Leo, this may be very strong for you. Now, it may be for anywhere in your chart, but this is no specifically maybe for Venus. I don't know. That's what the cards are saying. So, well, let's get one for the future. That's too many. Man, your ancestors want to talk. A lot of yeses. Yes, yes, yes. So maybe some of you guys. <laughs> Look at this dog. What? What? Somebody from your past may be going like, damn, I missed out on a good one. Look again. Yes. So. I love these cards now. I'm going to have to do this one in Spanish in a minute live, though. I'm being asked, do I do it in live? Okay. So this is going to be, look, you got three yes. So this is the future, okay? So we're going to clarify, and you got a lot of fucking yeses. So for a lot of you guys, you were you were feeling broken in the past, but in reality, you're coming out fuerte de madres, like stronger. I'm here an unbreakable, baby. Put it in the comments. I am unbreakable. I am the chosen one. And for a lot of you guys, just pick it up. Look. Just picking up on this energy right here from the past. Woo! Just have fun. So for a lot of you guys, you might have met somebody. This could have been your twin flame. And I say could have been because I'm feeling that you guys are not together. Look, it fell right here. So maybe they fell off their path with you because this is faith, healing, meditation. For a lot of you guys, they could have fell off. If you're no longer with this person in the past, whether it was a three-party situation or you weren't involved with nothing. 
with you weren't involved with nobody. You might have met this particular person in the past. And this was your twin flame. But you saw it fell off. So maybe they fell off. Maybe they went and chose a different route. For a lot of you guys, the universe doesn't want you to react to this person. When you're hearing this video or in the, in the future or in the present right now, they're saying, they don't want you to react. Like if you're like, holy shit, that was my twin flame. Let me go back. No, you're going to stay on course. You have something coming in. Some of you guys are already in this energy right here or else you're about to be in it. You just got to have, you got to be the fool to understand and to let go of the past that hurt. Because for a lot of you guys, you're still holding on to a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of that pain. And for a lot of you guys, you're just dealing with the fucking immature bullshit ass, coward ass. And I'm hearing, damn, hold up. And I'm channeling these messages. But they were just the ex for a reason. They were greedy. They were, I'm hearing Fuji. Like third ass ball or something. I don't know, but they were just not meant to be in your life. And when I say greedy is the way they fucked you up, the way they did you. I'm hearing bitterness, selfishness, and very specific, you guys are going to know. So they wanted you to let and let that anger go. I'm gonna know, so I don't need that shit. For some of you guys, hold up. Some of you guys are opening. Maybe you guys are going to Japan or there's something about Japan, but this is for a past loved one. And I haven't drank on my videos in a long time. I haven't even drank, period. But for some reason, here's a shot for you guys. Mm. And they want you to keep on track. A lot of you guys, you, you will, for a lot of you guys, look, you may have this situation. Why do we have the police? Police right here. Let's take this. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's clarify this, police. These three cards came out. Okay. If you was called 7-Eleven, some of you guys, they took a gamble on trying to cause situations, some blockages for you. For a lot of you guys, they wanted you to become homeless. Man, if they wanted you to become homeless, you might have provided a lot for this particular person. And it's not the person you met. It was the person that you were leaving behind. For a lot of you guys, you prayed for something new. You were, give, you were not given equal give and take when it comes to love. Some of you guys were dealing with one-sided love. One-sided love. That's true. Maybe you were dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. So look, what do we have for the future right now? Or the present? Because it says yes. So some of you guys are having to let go of the situation in the past. Now, this could have been passionate love. This could have been somebody with blonde hair. But I see this red dress. So this particular person, when you guys made love. Oh, my God. Hombre. I don't hear the neighbors could hear you. For some of you guys, it was so deep. You can look into this particular person's eyes and you can see through their soul. Mm. The way you pulled off their panties, if you're a man, they loved it. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting hot in here. Let's go to the, to the present right now. Some of you guys are having to have the strength. That says, yes, compassion as a cornerstone to resolve conflicts. Do not lose hope. So man, man, I don't know why I got this energy. Something about an ex coming back. 9-11 when I said that, and that's like, fuck, no, you already know. There's one, one ex that there's no way, <laughs> no way. Some of you guys are asking God, like, please, could it? <laughs> so some of you guys, if you had to be separated, from a twin flame, somebody that you met, somebody that you have passionate. You can know this is passionate because the sex was good. Sex was very good. Look, you may have had to walk away from this particular person. Fire and water. Fire and water. So you look, for a lot of you guys, this is somebody that you might have asked. Maybe they, there was a, 
there was a marriage, baby. There was a marriage. And the marriage, look, with the seven of wands, you had to walk away from it. There was conflict. It was just no bueno, no good. For some of you guys, if it was a 30, 30, a dirty, a third party situation, you, you had the opportunity or you have the opportunity to choose. You have a three of wands right here. What direction are you going to take? For a lot of you guys, you have been enlightened. You got the clarity. And it ain't the one that fucking backstabbed you in the back, the one that caused this legal situation. So for a lot of you guys, you've already went through this hang mode situation. You pulled yourself out of the fucking well that this particular person put you. Now, what is it that you need? Some of you guys need this happiness. And again, what the hell are you dealing with? Leo, you got the sun and the moon. That's like total opposites. Is, are you dealing with your yin to your yang? Leo, are you dealing with the water sign? Que chingados está pasando right here? Some of you guys, look. There's a key that you guys are waiting for. There's a missing piece when it comes to this. Yes. Because aquí está yes, yes, yes. Oh, maybe you're dealing with the yes, yes, yes. I don't know if you want that. Yes, 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 you know? But this is what the cards are saying. So when you find this missing piece, if you've been away from a particular person, some of you guys, eh, I'm telling you, the one that caused this legal situation, maybe you're already divorced. All they wanted was your money. Look, they weren't looking. They were for the money. Honey is what I'm hearing. And look, the Ten of Swords, they're about to be backstabbed. They're going to walk into their own trap. So don't look back. Leo, some of you guys, you're trying to find this key to unlock your heart, your heart chakra. And to me, that's telling me that you need to let go. For a lot of you guys, I'm here in Proverbs 631. Now, that's close to, you know, June 31st. If there's a 31st or something with, with cancer. That's like still cancer season, you know. Something to go within your heart, to release, to let go. Don't be holding on because a lot of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that wanted to. To have you homeless, they could have caused you, they could have caused a lot of setbacks to keep you from getting to this present moment of you, what? Coming into balance. This is strength. It doesn't have to be a person. This could be you coming into balance, you know, and I'm getting these big chichis. Maybe for my men, you guys love big chichis, or for my ladies, you guys have big tatas, but coming into balance. Coming into balance, relax, breathing in. And I told a few of the, the few signs in the past, the ones that I just uploaded. And I'm being asked to tell you, you're going to find this key towards love. And they want you to sit, meditate, and get, have your spine straight and breathe in, Indian style, you know, like the yogis, you know, acá. Yes, it was hard for me at one time, but. You have to relax and they want you, this is what I was guided, is they want you to picture as you meditate this infinite sign this way, like this. And when you get going towards the left, they want you to release what no longer resonates with you. Let go of pain, hurt, guilt. And then as you come this way, you're going to pull in the happiness, the joy that I'm fucking badass. Put it in the comments. So chingon, so chingona. I am abundance. And as you go here, I let go of lack, you know, bullshit, you know, lies. And over here, you're going to bring in whatever you want and just do it until you just find that piece. Imagine it being yellow because yellow is your creativity. You're going to pull that in. I am abundance, but you're going to find your missing piece right there. That key that's going to unlock this heart chakra. You're going to release all that anger, that bitterness. Send it back to where it, where it belongs. Send it to God. If you don't know, if you don't like to do that shit, send it to God. God, I release all this energy, these bad thoughts, the energy that don't belong to me. Do as you wish with it. And that's going to balance your, your sun and your moon. And I, I just have this intuitive uh, nudge that that's your happiness, your shadow side and your sun sign. It's, it's like, Leo, you could be the happiest motherfucker, woman or man. 
And you know what? You sit at a distance, you watch, you know, you get ready to do your thing when this, when you're ready. And, and this is you balanced, very right. For a lot of you guys, you have your twin flame. It came out. This is your opposite coming towards you. And yes, it's going to maybe rekindle, bringing in uh, this love. For a lot of you guys, you may have marriage in mind, you know, and that's something you may be coming into, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Look at this, what fell out. You have the tower. For some of you guys, if this was your ex, and maybe they're getting married, whew, there's a tower moment coming. It's just a matter of time. The six of pinnacles. The number six is going to be very important, but there's going to be a tower when it comes to the stability. You don't even got to do shit because look, the ten of pinnacles is right here. I don't think they're going to have the ten of pinnacles with the particular person they chose over you. I'm just getting that it's not. That's why the tower came. For some of you guys, it could be you. If they left you out in the cold and you were homeless for a while, and you, it was probably even your freaking house that you had. And you know what? There's a tower moment. When they see you stepping into a new relationship, into, into you being a new energy, and conquering all your goals. Some of you guys are going in a totally different direction. So some of you guys, with the Proverbs 631, it talks about they will have to pay you back. Every single penny con pinche interés with interest for what they took from you. You don't even got to lift one figure. Your ancestors, the one that likes to drink that whiskey, whew, is all over it. And I heard they're fucking Leo. And they got a lot of placements in their Leo. This is somebody that could have passed away. They're fucking all over it. There was a sibling involved. Hasta esa cabrona la trae en chinga, sira. I don't know why some of you guys, God loves you. You need to know that. Claim it. Put it in the comments. Dios me ama. God loves me. So I don't know. Fuchi is coming out strong. And look, this is the ancestor I'm talking about. This is a father figure. This fucker don't play. Look at him. He's got his, his gun. He's sitting in his throne. And I'm telling you, and he's sending out who? To grab that person that took shit from you. This is in the spirit realm. This happens in the spirit realm. This is the deck that I got, and I call it for, for los espíritus from up there. There's a hierophant with the high priestess. Oh my God, this person's about to get. They're going to get what they deserve is what I'm hearing. For a lot of you guys, just leave it to God. And they're going to go through major karma. Major karma, look. This is the eight of wands. This communication in the spirit realm, it's almost like this, this father figure that's passed away or mother figure, they're releasing, they're releasing, they're releasing everything to come out this particular person. They will have to pay you is what I'm hearing. You just got to move in a different direction. And look, this card fell on top of the future right here, the world. Yes, you are the magician of your destiny like you're about to co-create with with your ancestors with god look at this look you don't even have to lift a finger this is how calm you are damn okay so for this one for the future look at this so we have this card of first look love at first sight yes and then you have the strength so you took you took matters into your own hands and you faced these difficulties you you know, you said, you know, I got this. And now you have the world. This is you complete in. You are complete. A pause before a new start. Take a breath. Whew. And that meditation is going to be very important. Okay. So what do we got to know about this new world? This is you going towards the future. Taking, taking that chance. This is you taking action is what I'm hearing. So put on the comments. Yes, yes, yes. I'm taking action towards my future. And yes, 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 I'm open to receive my abundance, my divine abundance. And look, GPS, shady, with no strings attached. So you still have somebody in the future 
that is going to be trying to find out what you're doing, where you at. And this is somebody shady from your past. You know what I'm saying? And no strings attached. Now, for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with somebody que tiene el pinche pito grande, and they're pissed off because you're leaving behind somebody con el chiquilín así, and this is gran pito service, and they're fucking mad. They're like, how could it be? Man or woman? I thought I had this particular person, but no, you upgraded. You know, that's what you prayed for, and you're going to block this particular person because, look, Going into the future, you don't need this hot and cold. For some of you guys, you were dealing with somebody. They call you and then they don't call you. They text you and they don't text you. And then they want something with you and then they don't want something. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody with mommy issues or papi issues. Well, I don't know if I could go because I got to ask my mommy. Or I got to ask my papi. What kind of shit is that? Who the fuck are you dealing with? This is somebody, look, they're ashamed. For a lot of you guys, you caught on to their bullshit. And I keep saying, this card keeps coming out with this love spell. Did your mommy tell you to fucking do a love spell? Did, maybe they taught this particular person how to do a love spell. That's the only way they could get you. But the saddest thing that they're going to find out is for a lot of you, Leos, they didn't even have to do that. I'm picking up on an energy that you love this particular person. This is a particular person that you wanted to pop the question on this. This is not the one that you... You're with. This is somebody you wanted to pop a question with. You wanted to create something. But look, you started bumping heads. Well, my mommy tells me that, that you're not good enough. Do not take a risk. And they're going to receive karma because they're going to watch you walk with somebody else down the aisle. If this is somebody that divorced you, look, this fell right there. They wanted it their way. And just stubborn as fuck. Didn't I say selfish, prideful, eagle? It's like they got a little bit of a little bit of fucking power and they thought they could be you. Because some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody you were in a marriage with. They wanted to be you, even if it was a woman, or you know, if you're the man listening to that woman wanted to be you. And I hope it wasn't the other way around where the guy wanted to be you and you caught him fucking wearing your own clothes. I don't know, but something weird like that. But some of you guys, you guys are moving forward. Could have been somebody that you had a family or you're just, they're under pressure because now you're about to have a new family. And that's what it is. And they feel ashamed. You know, damn, I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. So for a lot of you guys, this spell work didn't work. You guys were, you guys were moving into a spiritual awakening. So maybe you turned your back on this particular person and they got mad, but it's too late. It's too late for love or something like that from, uh, who is it, from Aerosmith, Def Leppard. So that's what I have for you. Now, wait, hold on. They want angel numbers for you. Damn, two, 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 man, it came out. Two, two, two right away. I was going to say, Leo, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and claim this energy. I don't think you realize because they realize they have a clear view. You're dealing with somebody that have a clear view. This could even be a parental figure. They see a they see a, a clear view of where you're heading. And you could have been dealing with narcissistic even parents. This could be even parents. Los padres que no quieren que estés con esta persona. They don't want you to be with this particular person. Why? Because both of you guys are destined to fucking rise. Y'all have a mission. You're going to scratch their ass. They're going to scratch your ass. Cochinos. Could be your twin flame, 1111. Something about 808. But let's go to this 222. It says right here, alignment. Remember, stay high vibrational. If you haven't met this person, I'm, a, I'm encouraging you to meditate and watch that number, that number eight. Switch the eight to an infinite. I see that. Just keep meditating. Some of you guys will do it but naked. That's okay. That's okay. It says connections, friendships, romantic relationships, family ties, balance, life. It says choices, compromise, commitment, and trust. How do you move forward towards your life's true calling? What do what do what makes you happy? Your enthusiasm is what keeps you going. Follow your interest if it's plagued by something 
follow these routines or follow these routes will help you discover your life's purpose. Maybe I didn't even read it right, but I stop. So that's what I have for you. One more. Okay, they want you to have a spiritual as fuck message. So Leo, sun, moon, rising. Some of you guys just have to follow your dreams. You have to let go. Some of you guys are being held back, even from a potential marriage partner. They don't want you to go towards your dreams. That's why they cause so much disruption. They they try to, I'm here narcissistically hold you back. If no one can have you, if I can't have you, no one can. That kind of bullshit. Even if it was a lady for my fellas in here. And they caused this. They wanted you in jail. They wanted to take your shit, but it's all right. You're going to get your stuff back tenfold. It says sometimes crushing it means asking for help. So some of you guys are in that position. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, your help is from the what? The spirit realm. Your angels. God. Are you asking for help? Are you really asking for help? Because for a lot of my Leos, you're crushing it on your own. You still have your guidance. But you're learning a lot. It says only fools or suckers think they can do it all on, all on their own. Ask for help. Then take the help. Let other people be a part of your success. Don't be stingy about letting people share in whatever kickassery you create. Ever, every real baller has a crew. Also, you don't know everything. That's just a fact. And I was reading this. And for a lot of you guys, you are a mentor. For a lot of you guys, you're a mentor for a, a younger sibling. A sibling that, that your whole family cut out. That didn't want them to succeed. And for a lot of you guys, that sibling is kind of like this. Yes, he can all, but you mean well. And some of you guys, you're not going to do the work for them. You're going to teach them how to fish. That includes all of Because some of you guys, you guys were black sheep of the family or outcasted. And almost God brought you back. And they might have been thinking that you were going to take the realms like before. That you were going to lead the team. But you got your own fucking mission. Yes, I heard fucking mission like that. And you know it. And you're coming in as a mentor. And you have one or two pulling back of your family members. But you were there to teach them how to fish. Because God has you moving in a different direction. So if anybody's listening and you're a cross watcher, take advantage of the help, the sibling, or whatever mentor is coming into your life. They're not going to do the work. They're here to help you succeed. That's what I have for you. Leo, sun, moon, rise it anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. Change this energy. Infinite Tarot 888.